Good morning, Catawba Ridge. It's time for your Copper Heads Up. It's Thursday, March 23rd, and it's finally starting to feel like spring again. Okay, let's jump into sports. Due to the bad weather, several of our sports games were canceled, but lacrosse still managed to travel down to Clover and take on the Blue Eagles. Unfortunately, we fell short 5-15. to 15. Now, we had a little bit of rain to help with all that pesky pollen that's been making everybody sneeze. But if you're still running to grab a tissue every five minutes, we might have a solution for you. Here's Skyler with more. Blue skies, balmy breezes, and blooming buds. All can only mean one thing. That spring has sprung in the Carolinas. And though there is nothing more spectacular than the snowy tips of the Bradford Piers or pops of pink from the peach trees, all this color directly correlates to the green coating on your car and the constant compulsion for Kleenex. And while seasonal allergies affect almost 20% of the population annually, here in the South, it is especially insufferable thanks to early blooms and a much longer growing period. But while this sneezing season seems to be especially severe, help could come in something simple and sweet. My allergies this time of year, I don't, I don't have any. I haven't had allergies in probably 10 years since before I started beekeeping. Just steps away from Catawba Ridge sits a small farm that's buzzing with life. And for Jesse Holland, an initial interest has blossomed into a booming business. Um, so I had a garden and it was my next logical step to have honeybees, but I've always been just fascinated with them. A friend of mine took a class and I just tagged along and then I wound up getting bees and she ended up getting rid of her bees. So I wound up with her bees too. So it just grew and grew every year. And while collecting and selling honey has become a fruitful endeavor for Jesse, it's difficult to overcome allergies especially when it comes to natural remedies. But what we've learned is that honeybees sweet sugar substitute might have an additional benefit when it comes to dealing with seasonal allergies. When bees move from flower to flower collecting nectar, they are also transmitting pollen. Honey produced by bees that are local also contain all the pollen that is native to your area. By eating just a little bit of local honey every day, your body can slowly build an immunity to many of the plant allergens floating in the air. Okay. And it's, it's basically a de dehumidifier. But honey's benefits don't end there. Certified nurse and nutritionist Candace Williams talks about some additional perks of eating honey on a regular basis. Honey is like a natural um, way to build your immune system. If you have an upset stomach, um, honey is considered a probiotic, so it helps um, digest food and it's also healing to the gut lining. It can be used for cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease, the reason that this helps is because of the antioxidants in honey. Oh, that's so good. So before those sniffles start, stock up on some golden goodness crafted by the busy bees of Fort Mill. Full of health benefits with the sweetness of home. For CRN TV, I'm Skylar Torrey. Thanks, Skylar. Okay, Lander University will be here through all three lunches, so if you're thinking about becoming a Bearcat, make sure to stop by their table for more information. And BMOC, guys, you have a mandatory practice in Miss McKemmy's room, so make sure to dance down there after school. Okay, that's the last time you'll be seeing this handsome face by himself on the news this week. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow for our Big Friday show with Abigail. Signing off for CRN TV, I'm Braylon Burgess.